G'day fellas. These are the um, lithium motorbike batteries that you can buy from eBay, made by Skyrich. They're usually called like SSB Power Sport, things like that. They come in a variety of models. Uh, today I've got LHZ10-S, uh, which was out of my Harley. Um, this one isn't that old and it, it's failed already. Um, when they fail, um, they still show 13 volts when you throw a multimeter across them because lithium is different to lead acid. Um, if a lead acid battery is flat, it'll, you know, it could be anything 10 and a half volts, 11, 11 and a half volts, whatever. Um, this one still shows 13, actually it shows more than 13. Uh, it's stuffed. I've put it on um, a load tester and as soon as it draws load it, it um, just dies and it obviously it won't start my bike. Anyway, this video is about, I want to cut it open and have a look inside because I've never seen inside of a lithium battery before. I kind of expect a whole bunch of, I don't know why, I just kind of expect a, a whole bunch of like 18650 batteries all just linked together. Um, but I'm not sure, we'll find out. See if I can get a better angle. So, um, there's a bunch of circuitry in the lid, and I was wrong. It's not a bunch of 18650s or similar stacked. It's a bunch of these packet cells. I don't know what they're called. They feel like they've got gel or something inside of them. But I'm trying not to puncture them. So that could turn out nasty. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells. And that must mean that they're 1.5 volt cells, I imagine. It wouldn't be 2 volt because that would be 16 and that's not right. And there's sort of circuitry that join, there's a, a circuit board here in between these two cells. And that connects to the middle four cells. And then there's another circuit in between the last two cells and those four cells. So there's two circuit boards. Not much of a circuit, just like joiner boards by the looks. I don't know what the technical term is. There's no actual circuitry, there's no diodes or anything. Perhaps it's to equalise the charging I imagine. There's a lot of this double sided tape on everything. Well, let's go a little bit further and
that's one cell. Now, I don't recommend doing this at home. <laughs> I mean, you could cut it open, could catch fire or anything, I don't know. I don't even know what's inside of this thing. Let's have a look. It's definitely flexible, whatever it is. It feels kind of like gel. Um, it's got a very strong smell, whatever it is. Very strong smell. I mean, if the only way to describe the smell would be, it smells like electricity. <laughs> it smells like a, like a burnt circuit board. Try and get a close up. So there appears to be a layer of a paper, black paper like thing, and then there's a layer of spacer, I guess. It looks like spacer or plastic that separates it. I mean, uh, if I googled it, I'd be able to find out. But that's all that's in it is layers of this black paper-like material, which possibly lithium, since it's a lithium battery. And then there's just spaces. There's no... It's all dry. It's not wet, like I imagined. It's all just dry. I'd like to know... Because they're all connected at the top, but it appears as if there's a positive and a negative side to each thing. I'd like to know how they connect that to the, the actual contents of the cell. But anyway, it looks, um, just the way it's done, I mean, it, it looks okay. It looks, it doesn't look like it's going to blow up or anything, but it, these things here do look very Chinese, the way they were wrapped in double-sided tape and shit. Uh, also, there was a sticker on top that um, was clearly Chinese. It was had something written on it. Um, but yeah, that's inside the Skyrich batteries. This one didn't last very long. 12 months, this one. The funny shit about this whole thing was I took this battery originally to Battery World. First of all, the Battery World people don't really know much about lithium, as far as I can tell. Not... Not an attack on them. They're, they're really good. I always go to them. Um, but when I went in, um, you know, they pretty much put a multimeter across it and went, oh, no, it's got 13 volts. It's sweet. Good to go. And um, and the truth is that uh, it's not good to go. It wasn't, it wasn't performing. But then I said, look, um, do you just have a load tester? They said, no, they don't have one for lithium. Um, they're supposed to be battery world. They should probably have a low tester for a lithium battery seeing as though they're so common now the other thing is um that, that was funny though was we left it i left the battery with them and said all right well maybe you can check it further because i know it's stuffed and when i came back they they said i'll oh, check this out so when you buy these batteries they do advertise some of them at 440 uh, cold crank amps which this one clearly uh is 400 uh or is it because they peeled the bat, they peeled this sticker back, and underneath they found another sticker, um, which is 290 CCA, which is, you know, that's almost 25% difference in cold crank amps. And um, the thing that worries me is that's probably a Chinese sticker too. Um, I mean, I can't imagine they just buy. I don't. I don't know where Skyrich is made. I'm just assuming China, um, but. Yeah, they, you know, it's this is dodgy as. So anyway, I'd probably say beware if you buy Skyrich. That being said, um, they're certainly cheap for a lithium battery, and I 
was they have that much better uh, cranking power, I reckon, than lead acid. Like uh, I did, I bought another one, the replacement. I bought another lithium. They're that, they're that cheap. If it only lasts a year, no big deal. But um, the cranking power out of it is out of it is like way better than the same size lead acid. Um, it seems like there's a lot more capacity there for the same size battery. Anyway, that was just a bit of a muck around. Thanks for watching. Thank you.